Okay, in this video we're going to talk about uh, rewriting things that look kind of like uh, a times sine of something plus or minus b times cosine of the same thing that you're taking the sine of. Um, so we're going to look at this uh, mostly from one perspective, but you can actually force it to work in uh, any way. Um, what we need are the sum and difference formulas. Um, so the cosine of a plus b is cosine a and cosine b minus sine a sine b. So that minus sign there is important, so it alternates when you're dealing with cosine. So if it's cosine of a plus b, there's going to be a minus in the formula. Um, cosine of a minus b, um, so minus uh, there, so we're going to have a plus when we write the formula. Cosine, cosine, and then plus sine, sine. So in this video, I'm really just going to deal with those two formulas. But you could, if you wanted to, um, you can actually use the sine formulas as well. So sine of a plus b is sine a cosine b plus cosine a sine b. Um, and then the difference formula for sine. So that's going to be sine a cosine b minus cosine a sine b. Uh, so those are our formulas. And what we, I'm going to kind of develop the idea now. So let's say that I start with uh, y equals a cosine of mx and then minus b sine of mx. So that's what I'm starting with. And um, so it's, it's crucial that you understand that a and b um, could potentially be the sine and cosine of an angle or the cosine and sine respectively. Um, the problem is that uh, sine and cosine can only be between negative 1 and 1. So frequently you have to deal with it in a slightly different way. So the way that I look at it is I consider the point um, AB. And if you have a point AB, so we can plot that, um, and we'll have an angle theta that passes through the point AB, then um, the cosine of theta is A over the square root of A squared plus B squared, and the sine of theta is B over the square root of A squared plus B squared. Um, and it's convenient if you think of r as the square root of a squared plus b squared, which probably conforms with some stuff that you've done in trig uh, prior to this. So we have this, and now what we do is uh, kind of start working on this. So I'm going to take the original uh, equation and divide everything by r. So we get y over r, so I have a over r cosine of mx minus b over r times sine of mx. And uh, so that gives me y over r equals a over r is actually just the uh, cosine of theta, and b over r is the sine of theta. So it becomes cosine theta, cosine mx, minus sine of theta, sine of mx. And if you look at that right-hand side there, that's actually just the cosine of a plus b. Um, so from this point, y over r equals cosine of mx plus theta, right? So a plus b. Uh, I always put the thing with x first, uh, just, you know, because you can, you can just rearrange them like that. It's not a big deal. Um, and it, it looks a little more normal, like I know how to graph that without thinking. Uh, and then I multiply across r, cosine of mx plus theta. And then the question is, what's theta? Well, if you go back to that picture, uh, you can see that the tangent of theta would be b over a. So theta is the inverse tangent of b over a. So the tan inverse of b over a. And that's kind of the idea. So um, in this example, I kind of derived everything having a minus sign in between the two. If there's a plus sign, uh, instead of using cosine of a plus b, I'll just use cosine of a minus b. So let's do two examples. So the first example, um, 8 cosine of 3x minus 15 sine of 3x. So there's a minus sign, so I'm going to use cosine of a plus b. So let me just jot down that formula. And uh, I'm going to pull off the point. So the point is 8 comma 15. Um, so I know that 8 is the x-coordinate, by the way, because it's with cosine. I'm looking at cosine, cosine. Um, cosine's the x-coordinate on the unit circle, so uh, that's why I'm doing that. And now I'm going to draw a little bit. So I have theta. I know that r is 17. It's 8, 15, 17, Pythagorean triple. Uh, so cosine of theta is going to be 8 over 17, and sine of theta is going to be 15 over 17. So once I know all that, I can just kind of work the problem straight through. So divide through by 17 and we get this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the uh, 8 over 17 uh, with cosine of theta. So that's it's cosine of theta there. Cosine of 3x minus um, 15 over 17, if we look, is actually just sine of theta. So sine theta, sine of 3x. And by doing this, I now know that uh, y over 17 is just the cosine of 3x plus theta. And uh, as kind of a 
final step, I need to replace theta, but if you look at the picture or if you think about it, theta is just the inverse tangent of 15 over 8. So I get that, and uh, that's that. So let's do one more example. So say we have uh, y equals 3 sine of 8x plus 4 cosine of 8x. Well, uh, since there's a plus sign there, I'm going to use cosine of a minus b. So cosine of a minus b looks like this. And then I'm going to rearrange what I was originally given so that it looks a little more like that formula. So really, I'm just moving the cosine part to the front. And you can do that pretty much every time. Um, so I have this. And uh, do the same thing. So I'm going to peel off the point, which will be 4, 3. And draw a little picture, figure out that r is 5, because it's a Pythagorean triple. Um, so I know cosine of theta and sine of theta. So cosine is 4 fifths, and sine is 3 fifths. And now I do the same thing. So I go back to the problem. I have this. Uh, now I make my replacements. So cosine theta, cosine 8x. And then obviously when you get good at this, you stop showing quite so much work. So I have that. Um, and that right there is the formula for cosine of a minus b. Um, so it's going to be the cosine of 8x minus theta. Um, and uh, by the way, I'm, I'm kind of frequently using the fact that cosine is an even function, so uh, cosine of 8x minus theta is equal to the cosine of theta minus 8x. Um, I just switch those right away, I don't even think about it. Um, and then finally, I need to uh, multiply across 5, replace theta with the inverse tangent of, uh, ooh, that should be 3 fourths, that's a typo right there. Um, so let me just, let me edit this guy right here. Uh, you are supposed to be... 3 over 4. Um, and then once you have that, you're done. So I hope you found this helpful, and uh, good luck.